Oh, hey. Good morning. Welcome to this breakfast edition of the Fat Hipster Channel with me, Jonathan. Today, as you can see, I'm sipping on my mocha from the McCafe at the Global McDonald's here in Chicago, Illinois, on Randolph Street. At the Chicago Global Headquarters with McDonald's, they have a wider variety of coffee beverages, including mochas, espressos, cappuccinos, lattes, um, everything you can get at the the cafe and McDonald's, plus a couple extra things, premium hot chocolates, stuff like that. This mocha is supposed to be an espresso that has a chocolate mixed to it. It's not sweet at all, really. It's more on the bitter side. And the chocolate is subtle, we'll say. But the McCafe drink is not what we're here to see today. What we're here to see is this. This is a breakfast sandwich from McDonald's that is available in Poland. And in the United States, you can currently get it at the Global McDonald's headquarters on Randolph Street. Well, what is this? This is called the Double Kaiser Deluxe. And the Double Kaiser Deluxe comes with a mustard horseradish sauce, American cheese, shredded lettuce, two slices of Roma tomato, two half strips of bacon, sausage, I think two pieces of sausage, we'll see, on a seeded Kaiser roll. Yeah, that's right, you can get this not on the rye, but on the Kaiser. And here we go. First, it looks kind of sloppy, so we're going to make sure it's on the wrapper when I'm showing it. Here you go. It's a, a breakfast sandwich, but it has some kind of mustardy horseradish sauce. Now, it doesn't say if the sausage or bacon are any different than the normal bacon and sausage. They look the same. Um, it's the same tomatoes and lettuce, the American cheese. The two differences on the sandwich that make this unique to Poland is that Kaiser roll where you can see it's got both uh, toasted and, and white sesame seeds on top. The bun looks like there's probably some kind of herbs or seeds baked inside of it. But then there's also a mustard horseradish sauce. Mustard horseradish sauce I'm pretty interested in. Um, if you've checked my recent um, global variants of the McRib, I used a Arby's uh, horsey sauce on a McRib to um, replicate one of the global McRib variants. At that time, um, the global McDonald's didn't have this sandwich, and I didn't know it was coming. Uh, and also, this is a breakfast sandwich, so. I couldn't get this at the same time I purchased a make a rib. Um, the Global McDonald's doesn't let you purchase breakfast all day. Uh, so I could not have purchased this at the same time as a make rib. But I wanted to try it so I can see how similar their mustard horseradish sauce tasted to what I did, which was mix some mustard and some horsey sauce from Arby's. Let's go ahead and taste this. There is two pieces of sausage and two strips of half bacon. Let's go. You can see the tomato and two sausages.
I actually really like this mustard horseradish sauce. It's a little on the sweet side for sauces. Um, I believe it's probably because it's a mayo-based uh, sauce, so there's a little sweetness in mayo. Uh, you still get a little bit of a, a spice from the mustard and the horseradish in there. Um, I believe the spice from mustard and spice from horseradish are the same chemical, um, different than capsaicin. But uh, it gives you like a nice tingly, stingy spice on your palate. The bun is nice and soft. Um, no real flavor variable that I'm getting from the, the bun. It is soft though and it holds together well. This is the first time I've ever tried a McDonald's breakfast sandwich that had lettuce and tomato on it. And I don't hate it. Uh, the, the sausage patties are definitely the same regular McDonald's sausage patties. They have that same porky, spiced up breakfast flavor. The bacon kind of gets lost in this. The, the real... The real big two flavors you're getting out of this is the sausage and that horseradish mustard sauce. Um, and to compare it to the the way I tried it with the Arby's horsey sauce, not too dissimilar. Uh, I believe this is uh, slightly less thick than the Arby's sauce. It's a little bit looser, a little bit sweeter, I would say. I would say the Arby's horseradish sauce probably has more horseradish flavor to it. Uh, but you definitely still taste horseradish in this. I don't really taste a lot of mustard. It is a white color. There's no yellow that I see in here. So I don't know like what the ratio is, mustard to horseradish. Uh, but it does have a good flavor. As I said before in that video, and I'll repeat myself now, I believe horseradish is much looked over um it's a very good flavor that people talk about like there's spicy sandwiches all the time um that's usually capsaicin spice but like horseradish that spice is still good um when you eat sushi you have uh the wasabi that's a different uh type of horseradish plant but it's that same family of flavor and spice so uh, I think just in America, we don't really appreciate horseradish as much as other uh, areas of the world do. And that's kind of uh, disappointing because it's a good flavor if, you, if it's used right. I will say because of the sauce and the heat, the lettuce does look like it's like wilting fairly quickly on this. The tomato looks like it's really squished and smushed. Um, so you probably want to eat this rather quickly and not let it sit around too long or else you're going to get uh, the soggy lettuce like right there in the middle just drooping down and that piece of tomato that smushed down there. Uh, but overall I like this. I'm going to give the Double Deluxe Kaiser from Poland McDonald's two thumbs up. Overall, I like mostly everything about this. The horseradish sauce, again, places just need to use horseradish more. It's good. McDonald's sausage always is a, is a good flavor to it. Nice soft bun. Everything about this comes together fairly well. Uh, like I said, the only real gripe I have about this is the lettuce and tomatoes kind of getting tired looking after not too long. Uh, but it doesn't affect the, the flavor too much. 
uh, it just kind of looks strange after a while. But still, two thumbs up. I recommend this. If you are in either Poland or Chicago, which uh, sometimes Chicago has more Polish people in it than the entire country of Poland. I think I read that somewhere once. Don't quote me, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Two thumbs up. Go to the Global McDonald's on Randolph Street. Try this for breakfast. I think you'll like it. I did for sure. And that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all the other jazzy things. Goodbye.